Okay, that'll do the trick. Wait, Ubisoft? Wait, Ubisoft made this? Okay, well, welcome to Walt Disney's Tarzan Untamed. Um, tamed. Uh, so if, if you're a, a regular viewer of the stream, I don't have to say much. You know, I'm not a, a very big Walt Disney head. About the furthest thing from it. But, growing up, a lot of the games that I grew up with, um, like I rented and didn't own. And this is one of the games that I rented. And for some reason, I remember it. And I looked it up and it looks like it's short enough to just do in a one-off. So I thought I would revisit this. So don't, I don't know, don't look forward to too many other like game adaptation streams. Or rather movie adaptation game streams. But I'm making an exception for this one. And I'm very curious to see what this 2001 Ubisoft game looks like. You can have nine save files. And three characters. I mean, I was gonna go GR, but I think... I mean, I only have one option, don't I? Gate. Nice of Walt Disney to invite us over to his Tarzan, eh, Luigi? Oh. <laughs> Wait, why is the Tarzan one, like, drawn, and then this is, like, a weird, like, low-poly Turk? <laughs> Let's do story mode. You guys ready for this one? Did anybody else grow up with this? Does anybody else know what the fuck this game is? This is Free the Young. This is 1-1, I guess. Ah, oh, these pre-rendered cutscenes. Oh, this is very graceful. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna like this a lot, I think. Oh, this is... Look at how huge his fucking boobs are. <laughs> oh no. The ape has not escaped. <laughs> oh! He punched the cage up, but I thought he was gonna beat the shit out of the, out of the little monkey. <laughs> and there's just this little baby crying for help. And Tarzan walks over to it and just slaps the shit out of him. <laughs> this is my kind of game. <laughs> Monkey. Also, get ready for me to reference that all. Oh, look at his crawl. Earn points for performing trick moves. Receive an extra life for every 5,000 points collected. Tip. Free the baby apes and bring them to their mother to unlock the bungee challenge levels. Well, you heard the man. <laughs> Yo, Tarzan looking kind of- hold on, can I just- <laughs> Good game, good game. I'm assuming A is jump. Yeah, so this is like a Tarzan, if you're not aware of this, this is a Tarzan 3D platformer from, I guess, Ubisoft. How do I attack enemies? His, his walking animation is so slow. This is his maximum movement speed. It's good, though. I don't even know if that's an enemy, I'm just gonna go past it. You can slide down things, that's something you can do. Kingdom Hearts looking lit. I think this guy's looking lit. I like the guy, that guy's accent. Yeah, uh, Tetsuya Nomura had a very was very deeply involved with the development of this game. Little known fact, I hate that the movement is like nothing. Yeah, like the jumping is like normal for a platformer, but the walking is like very odd. That's kind of fun though. Reminds me a little bit of that one section in um in Xenoblade Torna or like Journey. Hit the B button to grab spears from the bamboo bush. Throw a spear at the arched vine to cut it into two regular vines. This is a thing he does in the movie, right? Okay, so that's why. I'm almost tempted to like play Donkey Kong Country music over this. What do you have? I don't know. Oh my god, his hair speaking of ape escape. Looks like a PS1 model. You got me. Look at how fucking thick they made him! Oh my god, Ubisoft! This is just the crawler from Reason to Die. Oh. Interesting. You're kind of like... Well, not anymore, but I was like on rails on this thing. Same with that. Okay, that's interesting. I think yeah, I appreciate it considering these are like very thin platforms. This feels like a game they would play at 4 in the morning at GDQ. Are there any runners for this game? See, now I'm moving, like, really slow again. If I, like, double- is it, like, Kirby? If I double tap, I can go faster? Or is there, like, a run button? Sorry, what did that say? So something about complete the gorilla, so... 
What do I? He just kind of sniffs when I come up to him, so I, maybe I come back to that. Also, I like that the bananas make like flute. What's the word that I'm looking for? Tussles, trills, trills, flute trills. <laughs> I don't even want to help the monkeys. I just want Tarzan to punch them. It's such a brutal animation. <laughs> See, I just want to do that, and then the monkey goes flying. Oh, thank you, Tarzan. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this lip syncing! Oh, this looks so crusty. I love it. They'll help you on your way once you freed all the This is so scary. I hate the way their mouths move. <laughs> yeah, I'm not quite sure how the that element of the movement works regarding um this crawling. I seem to move a little bit faster when I double tap, but still not very fast. Okay, it looks like that kind of locks on. <laughs> Was that like... Hold on. I'm not going to do that Do that on purpose because this game has lives. There was like, like a sound that it made that I really hope was as a result of me dying. So you do that. I guess you have to like build up more swing maybe? Yeah, there we go. a little bit precarious, but all right. This is interesting. Because, like, a lot of the platforming takes place on these, um, these, like, auto-path branches, which kind of locks your movement to, like, being unable to fall off of them. Okay, there's ground here. That's fine. Still doing this anyways. Oh, you're definitely able, like, to, to jump from vine wall to vine wall. Unfortunately, I'm not a Tarzan master. I'm not a real monkey boy. What's this, though? Yeah, the, the celebrity voice ape was talking to me about those, but I wasn't listening. What? He's got a gun? Hit the B button as quickly as possible to raise the meter and launch an attack. Oh boy. That's another thing that I remember very vividly from this game is the fucking quick time animations. And I could never mash fast enough, so I always had to get somebody to come and help me to hit the button fast enough. Where do I go from here? Can I climb this? Ah. Ooh, banana. There's gotta be. If I pause, is there like a control thing that tells me how to run? Jungle exploration. No, there's just. I, I'm sorry, X is the yell button? R is trick move. Fascinating. River surfing water ski? Oh boy, we're in for a hell of a game, aren't we? My stepdad's dad was in the original Planet of the Apes. My dad was an ape. I wish I could move any faster. I'm sorry. We're in a monkey game and this guy's throwing barrels at us? Did he call me a bitch? I'm gonna throw this at him. He's a dad. I was hoping that I could just like throw the spear at him and then impale- Oh, yes. Kill him, Tarzan. Kill him. They just make little fucking baby noises, and Tarzan destroys them. Oh, I can't use the spares because I have monkey. Well, not anymore. Not anymore! Kingdom Hearts for the Nintendo GameCube. Did Kingdom Hearts? Maybe I have to monkey yell. No, this guy's not having it. I guess I have to complete the gorilla whatever, whatever that means. Is that not his child? Interesting platforming, though, with, like, the going down the branches. Thank goodness. Oh, 
I don't know, there's just certain points where he decides to start moving really slowly, and I'm not sure what causes that, or how to make it stop. Oh. I don't know why that happened. I, I, like, I fell, I should have died there, but it just kind of gave me a second chance, it seems. Like here. Normal movement. Die! Oh, I have a cartwheel? Maybe that's how I run faster, I don't know. <laughs> Whoa, you can go all, all around. Up and down and all around. The camera does not like me doing that, but okay. Snake. I'm just gonna keep jumping. We'll see what happens. Fuck around. See what happens. I don't know. These guys seem like they like to hang out. And you have like alternate routes, but all of them are closed off right now? It's interesting. I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna replay any of these levels, but it, it, okay. If I did, then sure. I really need to, to learn the combat more, which apparently involves exclusively cartwheeling. I do- sometimes I cartwheel, sometimes I punch, and I don't know what changes what. Surely there are experts in chat who have an in- you know, completely know this game inside and out. I can tell me all about how to be the best ape I can be. The camera's kind of just doing its own thing now. Why is, like, he T-posing up there? He's, like, standing on such a tiny branch. Someone should mob this game and replace Tarzan's scream with Tom and Jerry's scream. Oh, more pre-rendered. This is good. Turk, let me help. Hey, take it easy, stud. You're not the only one with opposable thumbs in this jungle. Ah! <laughs> Guys, I found I think I found the surfing part. The surfing controls. Surf for Turk. But what's this then? It opened up Waterfall Plunge. This one looks like Tarzan Oh my god. Maybe I want to do this one first. Oh my god. It's like a complete silence, too. <laughs> gorilla challenge. <laughs> I want to... Gorilla challenge! I want to win the gorilla challenge. Avoid all obstacles to build enough speed to dive for the film reel. After all, I do build up speed for 12 hours. Rosie dies, yay. Uh, yeah, Rosie O'Donnell. That's the original person who voices Turk? Okay, so you just avoid the obstacles. Die! Oh, you get a bunch of extra lives, too. Lord knows I could use those. Oh my god. Congratulations! You've completed the Gorilla Challenge. The gorillas will now give you a helpful boost when you- Ah. Uh... So that's how you, I guess, that's how you open up the roots. You do the Gorilla ch You see, it asked me to- to complete the gorilla something or other, but I accidentally skipped that dialogue. So now, I love, look at the top left, look at the little baby icon. And how they go completely still and dead-eyed when you circle over a level like this. Whoo! Monkey! Earn points for performing <laughs> trick moves! Receive an extra life for every 5,000 points collect- Hold on. I think I remember this. I think I remember this section, actually. So do I have to catch him, or is it just like a matter of getting to the end of the level, and then you just automatically get him? How much do you want to bet? How many times do you think that- <laughs> Wait, it's fucking Tony Hawk! This is Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2! Can they get away with this? Does Tony Hawk know? There's a f there's fucking grind points. Guys, wait. This is great. I think that monkey is as good as dead now, but wow, all I need now is like some 1995 to 2005 era music and we're good to go. I don't think they could even like license Phil Collins for like, you know, like their own movie music for their own game. 
Oh, I guess I got that. Neat. Turk seems very angry with me. I think I need to be jumping over these. Yo, this is just the Super Mario Party rafting minigame. I feel like I've almost got him, but I don't think I'm supposed to. <laughs> oh my god. I can't tell if this is like the, the best or the worst, honestly. <laughs> honestly. See, well now they're like saying that I'm doing a good job. And I'm doing about as good as I've been doing this whole stage, so I think I'm about doing normal. I fucking love that you can like grind on rails and there's trick points. Yo, where where's the surfboarding half pipes though? Well, the collision for those things is like very generous, but no complaints. Uh, well, not for that one it seems. Not that generous. See, like he's right. I got him. Monkey. <laughs> so every five thousand is an extra life, huh? That's what that's what they tell me. I can't believe that like this is the kind of game that I could not possibly care less about it. And even in a game like this, I can't help but go out of my way to get the collectibles. Disney Extreme Skate Adventure. Same font for the tricks too. This reminds me of the Surf's Up Xbox game that they have in my dentist's waiting room. They're definitely using the same scream for every single- oh my god. He's just Rex Xenoblade. What's going on? Oh I love these character models. No way you could get the they look far more angular than they ought to be for a GameCube game, but I kind of embrace the crust at this point. Just go batshit on the controller and you'll win. <laughs> oh, is this the wakeboarding controls now? Donkey Kong TV show PTSD. I do get big vibes from this. And then Rosie o O'Donnell's like, Just because we're best bubs doesn't mean you got dibs on my dick. Oh, more trick moves now. What is happening? <laughs> this seems cruel. It's coming back to me though. I remember this too. There may or may not be an alligator that shows up later. Oh, is that like a jump pad? I can use the lily pads to bounce? Guys, I think I'm great. I'm starting to feel like a real monkey man already. I feel like this controls better than like the on land movement, honestly. Because at least with this I can go at like an okay speed. Man, this totally takes me back. Like, remember how, like, every game in the 2000s would just, like, throw fucking everything at the wall and see what sticks in terms of, like, gameplay? I, like, I feel like I'm playing, like, a, like a Sonic game here, you know? Ah, oh, look at that. That's neat. Oh, I, okay, so for that one, you, you don't go on the rail. See, I feel like this... This poor little bird's just trying to get away from me. It's like the opposite of a carrot on a stick. Doesn't seem like Tarzan's enjoying it too much either, honestly. <laughs> Ech, scum. Yeah, that is incredibly generous. But I will take it. Like, meanwhile, Tarzan's back here making, like, bone-cracking noises. Oh, I didn't get that one. We're still not done here, either. I might... You know. Oh my god! Oh my god! He's a dead! Oh, do I have to do the whole thing over? 
That's a bit extreme. There's no checkpoints? Well, maybe next time I'll try not to have <laughs> poor Tarzan here, like, dragged by a horse. This is just how they torture people in the jungle. They have a bird drag them through the sea. I mean, I guess I missed a few of those reels. That's what I'll do. I'll just keep, like, repeatedly dying on purpose if I don't collect every last little thing. I will accept nothing less than a perfect 100% run. Oh my god. The owl noise is, is good enough. I don't know why they had to make, like, like a noise for, like, his bones. I mean, there's alligators here, but there's, like, like a boss battle or something is what I'm remembering. <laughs> Fucking points. <laughs> Guys, I think I was a very smart game renter. This is actually amazing. Still didn't get that real, though. Yeah, like, the bird's, like, making, like, they're, like, squawking. I don't think they want this. Yeah, I have to be a little bit tighter with those slaloms. Oof. Oof. Banana. Just thought it, it would be worth mentioning once again that this is an Ubisoft published game. Or developed. I guess Disney published? Uh oh. Oh no! I, I, at the exact same part! They're crocodiles, not al- Oh, I'm sorry. How can you tell? How do you know the difference? This movie is set off of the, the coast of Florida. Ah yes, Florida. The untamed wilderness. Untouched by intelligent life. Good thing it isn't here right now. <laughs> And then he just pops into chat for the first time all night. He's like, what did you say about Florida? Explain Tarzan then? I think that explains what I just said more than ever. I thought Tarzan is just what all people from Florida look like. Is that not the case? <laughs> Surely, chat, you must, be, you must be very mistaken. I'm already not doing so good on my banana meter. But I keep getting those extra lives, so I guess that's worth something. Plus the grind points. Yeah, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die before I even reach that. I mean, the scum, the last bit there looks like the end of the level to me, but I, I can't tell. Like, I really feel like I'm, like, shattering his knees every time. It makes me feel guilty. I better see me some more bananas. And I'm talking like a like a bunch of three, like a multi-moon, baby. Yeah, it looks like the ones that I already collected are like staying disappeared. Listen, if me as a fucking infant can complete this, this is like one of the earliest games that I grew up playing. My grandpa does not look like Tarzan. I can't know that for sure. Do it. Pull the fucking trigger, piglet! Alligators are only found in North America. A bipedal semi sapient hominid. Unbelievable! This must be recorded, preserved for science. Roll, camera! Roll! <laughs> <laughs> That's what all cameramen sound like. I've met a few in my day. 
And if there's one thing that they, that cameramen, what we like to say in the business as a fellow cinematographer, it's before rolling film. I heard somewhere that the reason that Florida is infamous for all the crazy shit that goes on there is that there's a lot more reports on it than any other state in the U.S. Hit the B button as quickly as possible to raise the wrestle meter, then enter the combo to launch an attack. Oh no, got- What the fuck is- I remember this though, this is the bit that I couldn't hit the buttons fast enough. So, video games, huh? Yeah, so I was able to play the rest of the game, but these sections I could not for the life of me do. Disney World does that to people. Back, Mr. Wolf. You know our agreement. You may harvest all the ivory you wish, so long as it doesn't interfere with my collection of specimens. You can collect this one in pieces. At the forfeit of your salary and a return to your hole in the asylum. This is the greatest scientific discovery of our century. And my gateway to immortal fame. <laughs> he looks like a fucking Legoman. I love these <laughs> janky ass character designs. These bootleg Tarzan villains. My trump. My Kaijumufu's grandfather is Tarzan if you take enough LSD. <laughs> You'll be all right. <gasps> what could that mean? My grandpa never gave me LSD that I know of. Maybe once you stop taking it, that's when you see the truth, when you see Tarzan as he is. In search of Porter. Of oh, its Porter! Because it isn't here! It does sound familiar. I think Daddy knew him back in London. Then I'll find him and see what he knows. Can you take care of Tantor? I am beyond care. I must make my final march to the elephant graveyard. Do not follow me. It is not for human eyes. We'll be fine. Now Wait, what? Go find Daddy. Why is he going off to die? I'm like, like he's doing a bit, but okay. I genuinely can't tell if that was the same cameraman or not, or if that's a different cameraman. Honestly, I wouldn't put it past my grandpa. <laughs> oh, I think it's like momentum based. Like the longer you hold the analog stick, the faster you start moving. It's just like really slow build up is all. And then you start cartwheeling and I think that is the death sound. It makes like a ooh kind of sound as you descend into the pits of hell. And I really like it. I wouldn't have that any other way. It really is a blessing, though, that so much of this game is on rails, because imagine trying to, like, stay on these naturally, especially because they're, like, cylindrical. Like, you know a game like this would have awful slope detection and you'd be careening and sliding off the edges. Ooh. Snakey. Do I spear you? Yeah, that works. Don't mind me just cartwheeling my way through. Oh my god! Tarzan, run! He's moving so slowly! Wait, what? Why did she <laughs> why did she have like a southern accent? My my in impression was complete the young apes bungee challenge. So not the gorilla challenge, the young ape challenge. Okay, so that's more alternate routes, I suppose. But I always was under the impression that the bad guys in Tarzan were like colonialists, not like fucking southerners. <laughs> Although, what's the difference? But, like, you know, like, the other character's like, oh, daddy knew him back in London. So what, what does that mean? 
Why can she and her dad perfectly understand him? That's a good point. It's the orangutan challenge. I like that even cartwheeling breaks these open. <laughs> Yeah, I'm getting the hang of that. I'm getting the hang of that. Did I get those bananas? Oh, I don't have any spears. Will cartwheeling defeat the snake? So if I double tap the analog stick, and then cartwheel... <laughs> yeah, I actually win the day. So holding L shows you what you have. I really don't get why the crawling happens, though. Can I, can I go around these? No. I think the gas hurts me. Now, now, boys, don't breathe that stuff. Baby. Thank goodness. Tarzan, Ooga Booga, Monkey Piss. Her, stop peeing on monkeys. Tarzan doesn't pee on monkeys, he just beats the shit out of their children. Okay, well that was worth it. Like, he kind of like, slows down after a while. Then he just kind of got to resort to jumping. Because there's no equivalent in midair to, like, slowing down to a crawl. But for some reason on ground there is. <gasps> oh, ledge grab. This forks again, but there's no monkey. I think now I have to complete the young ape challenge for this level? I don't know when that kicks in. I would assume the next time one of my friends goes careening down a river and I have to surf after them. Hippos are epic. That's not true. Hippos are scary as hell. They're, like, one of the most... Powerful creatures on the planet. <gasps> I really do, you know, going into this, I really wasn't expecting to hear realistic gunshot noises in a Tarzan game, but you know what? I, w I wouldn't have it any other way. So what are, what is like the purpose of getting these film reels? I, I have to assume that there's a reward of some kind, yes? Hello, child. Hello, child. God, that dead stare of that fucking monkey baby. That's gonna haunt me. That's gonna stay with me, I think, long after I've completed this. Guys, wait a second. Tarzan Untamed. Tarzan Unleashed. We are playing a Sonic game after all! Right, so then I grab this and then I drop down? Gotta cartwheel all of these open. <laughs> I really wish I understood why that happens. Because I'm sure there's like a rhyme and a reason to it, but I, I cannot understand the pattern of why sometimes he crawls. For, why can't Tarzan stop crawling? Hello, hello, friend. God. <laughs> sure. Good gameplay element. Really like that. Can I go backwards through this? I want to grab this. Then I want to go backwards. No, that's the wall. Okay. Then he just stops. You know what? You know what I think it's linked to? I think it's linked to the octagon-shaped gates in the GameCube controller. And I'm not playing with the controller that has octagonal... Octagonal? Gates? So I think when you're pointing in the direction of a gate, you go at full speed, and then if you point, like, between the eight directions, you'll go slower. That's my current theory. Oh. I don't think the gas hurts you. I think just touching the flower does, maybe? Speaking of Animal Crossing, we just finished playing that earlier to- Oh, okay. Earlier tonight. Aren't those the, the same- plants that grow when your, like, village gets really, really bad. I got one of those before. Wasn't, wasn't a pretty story. I want to say these are fun, but I get so greedy with them because I want to just go in a bunch of crazy circles all the time. Oh my god. <laughs> He's just dead and then the little baby's, like, vibrating on top of him. Wow, Kingdom Hearts didn't age well.
They're pretty epic though. You get to watch funny baboon videos. Oh god, Frogger jumped. It's called a Rafflesia? Oh, I don't like how that the central hole dilates like that when you touch it. Okay, new strategy. Don't die with baby. Baby. Yeah, like the bananas kind of like hint to where you're supposed to like, which direction you want to lean in. In my defense though, the controls for going around these cylindrical structures. These light sources make no goddamn sense. It's very sensitive! Like, just a small little nudge will move you 90 degrees, and then if you just hold it, you'll go in circles like crazy. I was literally- I was about to start wailing on this thing because I thought it was an enemy. <laughs> Y'all remember the song Baby Monkey Riding Backwards on a Pig? Absolutely not. I found the strangest thing. A man named Gardner has brought hunters to the jungle. Oh my, Oswald Gardner. Oh, oh dear me. You know him? Well, I know of him. It's quite a nefarious character. He's a man of science like myself. I love <laughs> how noisy the fucking thing unseen. that he's holding is. I should imagine this belongs to Gardner. What is it? You have to stop him, Tarzan. If it's not too late already, you have to save the apes. Even I don't want to find out what this does. No. No, don't do it, Tarzan. Oh. I'm sorry, did the, did the bird literally say, oh no? Tarzan, you're supposed to be like a friend of the jungle. I thought his power was that he doesn't abuse animals, but I guess he just does. Anyways, we're doing this again, I guess. And it like frames it all heroically too, and the bird's like, please! It's okay, Tarzan seems to be getting his just desserts. Whether or not I intend him to. Did I really just get that? Alright. Yeah, I have to like imagine the um, like the folly artist who had to like make the sound for that dude holding his his tools, who just like very intently watching that cutscene and then like just shaking around like a little wrench or something like that to make like enough like clanking noises, like a fucking rattle. Yeah, if you hold A, and you- because you do that to jump higher. And then you land on those, then you just- eh, You, uh, leap right back off instead of staying on them. Which, like, makes sense, but it's something that I have to get used to for sure. Okay, out of the scum, Tarzan. Out of the icky paint-like goop. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> I love how his corpse gets dragged through the water. This game came out after the first Spyro trilogy. You mean like the first game in the trilogy? Or just like after all three of those Spyro games came out, as opposed to the second three games? I mean, the game said like what, 2001, 2003 on it or something like that? So I would have to imagine so, yes. I will say it is very fun to grind on the rails. I do, even when there's like nothing on them, I'm very tempted to just leap for them. Just cause, just cause. Also very interesting that they try to go for like reflections in the water. Like it's very mirrored surface. Nope, no, that's not happening. And neither is that. 
Yeah, you gotta like zigzag if you don't land on these. Whew. Okay, I think this is further than we got last time. I think that zigzag bit got me before. No, it's this hopping bit. Ooh. It came out after all three. Is there a reason I that should be of no? Just that it's comparatively really bad or something? Or is this like doing something very similar to those Spyro games and Spyro got it per that specific element much righter than this one did? I mean, again, it's a fucking like licensed movie tie-in game, so that should have been the first red flag. Again, that is the only reason that I'm playing this, is that it's just something that I rented as a kid and remember existing. But I'm here, I'm going for it. I'm enjoying these crusty pre-rendered cutscenes and these bizarre difference, like, just different gameplay sections. Kinda here for it. There it is. Why does Tarzan need a mask of his own face? Unless, that's not the real Tarzan. Every time he dies, a mask falls off, and he, if he's left without a mask, well... There's nowhere left to hide. The truth come out. Does Tarzan is not Tarzan? His poor fucking legs. It really is like a bone-breaking sound though, isn't it? Okay, here goes. I'm feeling good about these reels though. I don't know how- I haven't been keeping track of how many are in each level. But I feel like I'm getting a lot of them. Though I'm sure the collision sure helps with that. Something about the way Tarzan crawled just reminds me of Spyro from last stream, so I looked it up out of curiosity. Ah. Well, I, I think Spyro does better crawling than Tarzan does. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's the whole cutscene? I like it. I'm down with this. Hunter's Trail. Jungle Exploration. Wow, so I got all eight there. I got five out of eight there. Seven out of- okay, I haven't, I haven't been doing so bad. Is there, like, have I found the Young Apes trial yet? I want to do that. God, look at the, like, the colors here. They're so, like, green and muddied out. You know what, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and see if I get an extra root. Does it work? Oh, it actually does! Okay, so I guess the gorilla challenge, like, unlocks all of those. So it's not based on, like, progress. Oh, I'm, like, trapped! Cartwheel, bitch! Oh, I was gonna cartwheel into him, but that's okay, I guess. I'll cartwheel into you. Die. God, it's so- it's like only a few frames, and I get why that is. That's how you animate good game animations. Because that way, like, the res it feels more responsive. But it just makes it look like he hits really hard and mercilessly at the baby. Ooh, yeah, I really gotta be more careful with these vines. Still haven't... I'm better. I'm getting better. But I've yet to master them. Bird! Oh my god. Well, you know what? I wouldn't blame him. Tarzan doesn't seem to have a very good relationship with birds, as it turns out. Does Tarzan have a ground pound? No, he has a show info button, though. Yeah. 
See, so like these, oh god, main stages have, man, and the baby dies too. Um, the main stages have checkpoints, but the, um, I guess the surf, I mean, I didn't die on the surfing ones, but I, I would assume it's in the same category as the, the water skiing ones. Are the same thing. Sometimes his shadow goes fucking crazy. You notice that in the water? I think I'm like I found a Tarzan up warp. Do you think I could get like a thousand dollar reward for discovering that? I showed my info. Please respond. What does that mean? I've been reading chat. Look at that. He's up warping. I don't know, I, th I find something about Tarzan plunging into the depths and that little slide whistle playing is, is very therapeutic. <sighs> it's like drinking a cold glass of water. It's refreshing. Yeesh, there we go. Speaking of Sonic, wasn't there also a Sonic 06 game? A Sonic 06 game. A Sonic 06 stage that had like a, sing a similar like vine swinging mechanic. That was like, really janky. I'm gonna cartwheel into this bird. Fuck you! I can't believe I just cartwheeled into a bird so hard I injured it. In fact, I probably killed it. Not to give myself too much credit, but... Hello child. Hello child. Right, so I assume these are the young apes, so it's like a different root type that I'll have opened up when I do the young apes challenge. <gasps> Guys, look, cat boys! Haha! <laughs> oh god! And then it fucking dies. No threat here! That's what a cat boy would do to me in real life if I saw one. And you know what? I wouldn't complain. Do we gotta like bonk it like a Mario block? Oh, I have an aerial punch. I can jump and punch. Oh my god. This is so strange, but I love it. Oh my god. Okay, no. It flies away. So, unfortunately, Tarzan did not kill a bird by cartwheeling into it. But I suppose it'll do. Oh god. Yeah, I think it I think it is link, linked to um the gates on the controller. I wonder if I can like map the D-pad or something so that I can just regularly get good movement. Although I have an adapter. Can you use the, the Wii U slash switch GameCube adapter with I I have to assume you would be able to with Dolphin. Has anybody else, like, played- I don't mean, like, in this chat has played this game, but I wonder, like, if you were to look this up on YouTube, what you would find. If there's, like, a goofy YouTube reviewer being like, THIS GAME IS SO BAD! Or if you just get no results. Oh. There's a- there's a, a little brown thing poking off of the log that I thought that I had to land on, but I think I just have to go directly into the, um, the half pipe. Well, I guess there are half pipes in this Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 game. See, because the swing kind of makes it seem like that's what you ought to land on. Oh, because it is, but it's going to break. But watch out. I feel like these are like the transitions in Anodyne 2 and Tarzan's... I need spears for this. Where am I going to find... Ah, oh, spears. Hey, speaking of, you know what was a great game that I miss and whose soundtrack I should really listen to? Anodyne 2. Damn. <laughs> this is fucking ridiculous. I'm wrestling cats. You know what, though? That's a really good point. How come all of the cat boys that there are, they're like, like domesticated house cats? I think tiger boys would be cool.
or cheetah boys or jag just felines of all kinds. Oh my. Okay, I thought he like. Okay, no, he's dead. Don't worry. He's dead, but he got better. Oh, this is a, a young ape challenge. <laughs> I bought Anodyne 1 a while ago on Switch. I need to get to that. I, I have that too, but I want to give myself some more time between 2 and 1. I think. But yeah, 2 did a lot of fascinating things, so I'd love to see... I'd love to go back to 1 and see where it all started. Yeah, I guess because these, um... These branch sections are on rail, all you have to do is hold, like... Uh-oh. Like, directly up on the analog stick, and you'll go along the path. But if you try to, like, tilt the stick out of the gate, or what would be the gate, to go along, like, if there weren't, um, a rail you're locked to, as if there weren't a rail, then that's what causes the crawling, it seems. You got Tony? No, I mean, like, like, Catboy Catboys. Just because everybody on Twitter wants to fuck Tony the Tiger doesn't mean that that is a suitable replacement for what I am asking for. Right, you think? What happens if I let him- look at this fucking walking animation. Yeah. Cartwheel, bitch! That actually kills him. I love this game. Wouldn't have minded those bananas, but that's okay. Ooh. I mean, the checkpoint is right before this guy, so if I did want to see what it looks like when that guy does get me, him when he fucking gets me, then I quite feasibly could, but I won't. Are there any camera controls? No. I mean, the game has a pretty okay, like, guided camera. I haven't found that to be a problem as of yet. But sometimes, between the gates is just where it seems best to point the analog stick. Instead of, like, directly forwards. But I don't know. Now I'm doing the crawling again, and I am pointing directly up, so I don't know what the fuck this is about. I think maybe it's a combination of needing a running- Oh god, gun, gun, gun! You can't outrun a bullet! <laughs> can't outrun a bullet. I like her. She's my favorite Tarzan character. Does she have a name on the Tarzan wiki? I like to imagine when a character model fades away, it's supposed to be them decomposing. There's a girl in my storyboard class that accidentally admitted that she thinks Tony the Tiger is hot during class one day. Guys, you have no idea how bad it, it can be. I have a group chat with a lot of, like, very, very old childhood friends. Um, and... Pretty much everybody there in agreement... Pretty much everybody in there, except me, seems to be in agreement with one another that they think, like, there's, like, Teen Titans characters that are hot. And I don't see it. Whale, whale, whale. You're, you're ugly. You're disgusting. I'm gonna kill you. Give me $200. That's her. Well, what did everybody else say when she said that Tony the Tiger is hot? You know, when she told the truth. When she stated a fact. Boy, these hippos really do be toe-deep in water that Tarzan can drown in, huh? Cartwheel! This is amazing. What an experience, honestly. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <gasps> it's the evil cameraman. Oh, I intend to leave the jungle, my dear primate. And I'm taking you and your lady with me, Jane? Oh, bother. Uh-oh. 
All right. At least we still have our female specimen. You there! You will lead us to the last place you saw the ape woman. They're both cameramen, I guess? To the bone yard. Yes, Mr. Wolf. And you're welcome to all the ivory you can carry. So long as I get the ape woman. Oh, okay. The Florida gangs got to him. Oh, wait a second, the young ape challenge. That's what this is, yes? I mean, we got some young apes. Yeah, I'm sorry, the young gorilla challenge. Avoid all obstacles to build up enough speed to die for the film reel. All right, see you guys in 12 hours, boys. I actually do kind of like these sections. The acceleration feels really nice as you go down. Oh, but I guess when you bonk on things, like, you lose speed? Oh, yeah, so to get all the way to the bottom... Well, what happens now? Oh, I'll just let you try again. So you have to make it through without hitting any of these. It seems to want to force you into, like, one of eight directions anyway, so as long as you, like, point to uh, approximately where the gate would be, it kind of auto-corrects for you. Yeah, there we go. The villains look like Wallace and Gromit background character rejects! Congratulations, you have completed the Young Gorilla Challenge. The Young Gorilla is... will now get... Oh my god. They... they don't know how to use apostrophe S correctly will now give you a helpful swing when you call to them. The young gorilla is, will now... What a game. What a game. I should, like, be keeping a closer eye out in search of its porter. Crocodile Clash. You got me there, chat. Hit the B button, love this water texture, as quickly as possible to raise the- Okay, so it's the same as before. This is the one I remember being very stuck on. Do I- Okay, now I mash. What if I don't? Wait. I, th <laughs> I think it, like, plays the animation, like... It's like- <laughs> I feel like I'm controlling a YouTube poop right now! It's just like reversing the video back and forth. <laughs> oh, I love this. So it's X, B, Y, A. Sorry, Sonic Unleash, not this time. Holy shit. I thought Tarzan got ate by this thing and then went to do a bungee challenge in hell. He's still alive? Oh my god. <laughs> I just really love how it plays back and forth. <laughs> Yo, nice tongue graphics in this game. Whoa. Just so you know, I had nothing to do with this. Wait. <laughs> he never ran out of frame. He just, like, kind of walked into the corner and then stopped. But his hair kept, like, vibrating. We have to find her before the hunters do. But, but how? Only elephants. Wait, why do they want Jane? I couldn't stop them. Follows she didn't grow up Jane here, she just moved in. That blasted cameraman followed Jane. The cameraman! The reels! Perhaps he filmed his pursuit. We may just be able to discover Jane's whereabouts from the reels of film you found. We'll turn that lunatic scientific record against him. Well, alright then. Into the caverns.
I'm afraid we can't proceed until we know where we're going. You're going to have to find some more film reels. Oh, no. This really is Sonic Unleashed. Oh, but I'm only missing seven. That's not bad at all. This is better than Sonic Unleashed, in my opinion. Uh, I guess I'm missing some here. I guess now that I've completed the Gorilla Challenge and the Young Ape Challenge, if I go back to some of these levels, it'll, like, have new routes opened up. And I'm assuming that there's that's where the film thingies are. So get ready for a lot of screaming to take place, both from me and from Tarzan. Boy, the colors really do look like... <laughs> the colors here are like genuinely okay, and they really just go down the toilet come the swamp world, or the, the swamp levels, I don't know. This game seems relatively short, so I'm assuming like that's the end after we get through that uh, gate. <gasps> Wait, guys, look, it's it's! I've been watching this entire time, just also playing a game. Thought I'd stop to affirm that this game indeed does suck. Good choice, Griffin. I'm having fun. I don't know what you guys are talking about. You you didn't even chime in when I talked about the search for its porter? Come on. I don't know if I can believe that, that you didn't jump on that opportunity sooner than I did. I just like walking around on the branches. Like, I know you're like locked to a path when you do that, but it feels very satisfying. It feels like I'm doing a good job, even though I'm doing absolutely nothing. Yell to the friendly apes to obtain their aid. Wow. Listen, I've played worse. I like playing bad. Well, not, I mean, not bad gameplay but bad games. Boy, if I liked doing that, I, you know, it's like they say, you do what you love. I will say that this looks better than Spyro. That, I do not believe. I think the character models look awful in this game. Uh-oh. I was not expecting chat to turn on Spyro the Eternal Knight so fucking hard, and yet here we are. Like, why are you people like this? There's definitely a way to do, like, triangle jumps off of these, and I find it very, very unfulfilling that I can't seem to make it work. Love this voice acting. Really necessary. Oh, I always forget that I can climb this wall. <laughs> Not even gonna bother. Not even gonna bother. <laughs> He's like mad that I'm skipping the game. Listen, Tarzan, Walt Disney paid a very hefty price to produce this game. You better interact with everything. You better get all the collectibles. I thought we were talking about PS1 Spyro and I was going to be livid. Well, I'm livid that we're not. I'm livid that we're talking about the Eternal Nine and you guys still mean what you say. Like, we're looking at these treetop textures beneath us, you think it looks better? And again, you may say this now, but just remember when I have to start replaying the muddy-ass swamp sections. Oh, right, there was... Fuck, where was the film canister in here? There's like a life on the right of- so maybe it's like on the left somewhere? I'm a little bit better at controlling this now, so... So there's banana. It's not in this tunnel. Maybe I did get it. I thought that was the one that I missed. Or it was this one? Boy, that's gonna get- And I think I'm beginning to see how it feels about the door opening sound effect. Oh, there it is. 
Hold on, there's a life back here. Let me get it. I have no choice but to... There we go. This controls very weirdly. Like, it wants you to go, like, on a certain rail, and if you walk off, the controls just turn to dog shit. Like, with this, you're just locked to that path. Whereas in larger 3D spaces, that path is more of a suggestion. Boy, death sure is real. You look at these rhinoceroses and you rhinoceri, and you think that S Spiral looks worse than that. Oh god, and then Turk fucking dies. He's not even standing on the branch! Oh, Walt well, Disney Interactive Entertainment. Okay, so that's 8 out of 8. 41. 6 out of 8. 7 out of 8. Another 5 out of 8 here. I guess I'll do the Young Apes Challenge and I'll get another 3. That, yeah, that's not bad at all. I can replay a little bit. Although it better be good. See, like, look at how brown this is. I guess that's that's the part how you can tell it's developed by Ubisoft. <laughs> what a trill. Eh. Cartwheel. Ah, oh, it's just delightful. I want to actually I think you people are too mean. I'm having a lot of fun with this. <laughs> like, it's just very real violence, and then it's answered with, like, very cartoony defeats. Oh, God. Now it's Twilight Princess. I have zero clue how I'm supposed to make that jump. I don't know if I can, like, crawl any closer before leaping, but, hmm. Oh, I'm gonna have to do that every time, too, huh? Perhaps choosing this to replay was a worse idea. Okay, that's the closest I can get. That if I can jump from there, I'm good. <gasps> He's gonna get me! And then he decomposes. I want to see something decay! Decay! I don't know what the fuck that show, that that clip is from, but every time I see somebody like make a clip of it, there's some weird shit that happens. Because I know there's also one where he like starts like clipping through the counter. Oh, I guess even jump- oh. Well, jumping into that thing counts as an attack. But cartwheeling into the abyss afterwards is not part of the solution. Yeah, and then he like walks into the back rooms and he's like, whoa. I know, Chad, I'm so sorry I'm not familiar with infant television. Although I, I have a surprising amount of like friends who are like the same age as me who for some reason vividly remember Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. I mean, I don't know if they got younger siblings, or, or if that show was on much earlier than I thought, but I don't know, I don't think CGI television was like that far along when any of us were old enough to be like watching that show. But then again, I also didn't grow up with the Disney Channel, so I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I know why I didn't see it at any age of any kind, but... I don't know, I always assumed that there was like a much later like 2010s thing. Cartwheel, cartwheel, cartwheel! Oh, that's why this path is here. That's why there's nothing of interest. And then it connects at this part. Ooh. 
Oh, I love sound design. I love it. Love folly. <laughs> you guys catch that one? He just jiggled on the edge and like floated off into another entirely different direction. What part of the movie does that happen? Exactly. Oh, now it's a, a not young, an elderly ape challenge. Oh, you can stand on top of the ape. I will say the extra life sound effect is very good. <laughs> very good! Whew. I'm a monkey master. I'm making a monkey of myself! Yeah, like, the camera really doesn't want you to go over here. It gets a little bit... You really gotta fight it. And again, it and, the, like, the whole path su suggestion thing where you're kind of fighting it, I was talking about earlier, is also kind of going on there. Like, the camera and the controls are kind of nudging you to go in the, the proper direction. And if you want to find the secret, you, you gotta really go against the grain. Oh, come on now. I thought I was doing quite good at that. Like, if I just hold up, then it Railroads me in that direction, and then I... You gotta wiggle. Hey guys, question. So, is that like, is that the Tarzan yell, or is that the George of the Jungle yell? Because it's in both, and I never understood which was referencing the other. <laughs> I want to say it's from this, and not <laughs> George of the Jungle, but how should I know? I wish I understood what was happening with this jump. I think it's part of like this octagon thing. Like if I jump forwards, and if I jump kind of off. No, in 3D space, the jumping behaves fine, no matter which way you're pointing. You know, octagon or not. Octagon! <laughs> But with the vines, I don't know, it's that one jump. I'm holding forwards, because even when you're mid in midair swinging from vine to vine, you actually don't have to point in the direction you want to swing to. You'll automatically just be on rails. It does a lot of auto-correcting for you. Like, I'm just holding forwards and holding forwards and holding forwards. And with this, my velocity just really plummets. I wish I could just... Build, well, build up a little more speed for 12 hours. There we go, yeesh! And that comes back around to this. The paths on fork. This fucking crawling animation. Yeah, I'm gonna need a few of these. Just wasted half of my pool trying to make that one jump. An ape challenge. So it's, would you say the repetition of this then? It's, I talked about you so many times during this stream, you're chiming in just now? Would you say that the repetitive single Tarzan scream sound effect? I'm allergic to, oh, oh. Is it better or worse than the door opening sound effect? From the monkey's mouth himself. As I was saying, though, I'm allergic to Walt Disney Interactive Entertainment. God, this walking animation. Huh, no sneeze. I'm sorry, but it's not gonna happen. Ah! 
That could have been a little bit late, but I guess it's not. So if I go over those holes, does anything bad happen, or is it just decorative? Because they don't show up in any of the other tunnels, from what I see. I wonder if those are at all used as like a type of like loading zone, you know, but like while traveling between areas. That was the end of the level, so I don't even know. All right, though, let's see how many film canisters that adds up to, because I think we're ready to start making forwards progress again. Oh, we're missing one. We're missing one. I could do one of these. I could be. I actually, I actually perfected in search of Porter. Uh, maybe I'll go to like the um, like this one. Like, if I just need one, then I've got some chances here. God, it's so weird to see, like, water that looks like water in this game. And not like, like a green mirror. Okay, so all I need is one, and that's progress, baby. And baby, you got a stew going. There's nothing even there, but I want to get my Tony Hawk high score. I guess you do get extra lives for doing it, so even though there's no collectibles at the end of most of these rails anymore, it's still probably worth doing. I'm so far away. <laughs> I guess it is possible to like fall behind or gain, but I don't know if that ends the level any sooner. So I'll just take my time to look for the collectibles. Thank you very much. Is that one around the corner that I just slowed down? No, that's that's turret. Yo, that's not a turkey, that's a fucking monkey. Hey, weird question, has anybody in chat ever tried physically dragging the knuckles along the floor? Not saying that I have. I just thought that you guys seem like the kind of people who, who would be experienced with that. I think I just like outran him at a certain point. I don't know if that's possible, but I feel like I did at some point. No film canisters in sight yet, though. I don't know. Not sure where to begin looking. Oh, there's one! So that's in the middle of the path there. And it, the river gets wider. Surely there's a second one, though, right? Because it said six out of eight. There it is! There it is! Well, that's it. That's all I needed. We're ready to get out of here. So I just gotta finish the level, I guess? You calling me a knuckle drager? Now I can do what I do best, which is play Tarzan. I'm really good at this. Guys, I think I would I want these models to look worse. That's what I want. I think these would look hilarious with PS1 textures. And they're trying very, very hard to do realistic lip syncing, but they don't even look like li living creatures. Good show, my boy. These may just have the answers we need. Let's take a look. God, this really does feel like Lego Island. Whoa. That must be it. The elephant graveyard. Then, hurry, my boy. Gardener's a, a, a madman. You can't imagine the danger Jane is in. The absolute madman. He actually did it. Oh, it's more of these fucking Animal Crossing plants. You know, the ones Animal Crossing, uh, you know, invented.
Oh, I thought it was like climbing the wall, but like the the rail that I'm on kind of just threw me off. So you're jumping around the wall. I don't know, it looks like a climbable surface to me. So if I just, if I build up speed. Yeah, there we go. Oh boy. I've like tried to explain so many quirks of the controls that I'm that I'm feeling when I play this. And I think now is where they're all kind of like culminating and and all just coming together. See, like I can be holding up and wanting to go forwards, but then the path decides, no, this is the part of the branch where you're going to jump off, not later. So you just gotta be ready for that. Like, I'm not choosing where I'm switching these branches. The path is. Look at these fucking twitching bear traps. Or I guess, in, in, I suppose in this case, ape traps. You know, maybe I do want to see Tarzan get his leg caught in there and then spend the next two hours screaming in agony as he tries to get it off. Why not, you know? That's a new kind of snake. And it just retracts like a fucking zip cord. One might even say a bungee cord. You know, from the, the Young Gorilla Challenge. Excuse me? Ooh! You catch this! <laughs> oh, this is so stupid. Oh, this is like a lot more like claustrophobic now. Die! Monkey! I'm sorry, my brain is like turning to mush into YouTube poop. It's that time of hour. Oh god, okay, so this counts as a 3D area. These aren't branches. You actually have to steer- Arrgh! I've been like trained for all the wrong muscle memory. I'm trained to play this like it's a fucking behind-the-back Klonoa. But maybe the fact that I crawl when I'm not pointing in one of the eight directions is ample reason why that is. Why would you ever design the controller to do that? I've never played any other game game that behaves like this. Except this one, you know, but 20 years ago. Yeah, this game and and the and the idea of 360 degree movement do not get along very well. It almost feels designed like in spite of the fact that it's a 3D game. <laughs> okay, and then this counts as a branch. You've heard of brownish green. Now get ready for just brown. My baby! What the hell is going on up there? Complete the baboons bungee challenge and they will give you a helping hand. <laughs> Baboon. Brown and purple. I don't know if I would call the purple fog that, but alright. Oh, whoa. Okay, you know what? I'll call- that's pretty cool. That was a pretty cool change of palette. I'll allow it. I'll give points for that. Yeah, this area is actually pretty vibrant. I'll take it. I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go through the bats. I'm gonna cartwheel them to death. All of them. Every single one. I wonder if I could die in that knee-deep water. Oh my god! He's got two guns! This is so funny. I hope the game ends and Tarzan gets a gun and he starts shooting them. 
Let's fight. Let's fight. I hate when there's a fork in the road. I hate when I have to move left and right. Anything that's not forward really disagrees with me. I, I want to run away because he's going to have a catchphrase for that. I keep like sliding off to the right instead of going straight. I'm not sure why that is. But that kind of describes this entire game, so I'm sure I'll find a way through it. I'm determined. I want to run away. I want to hear what that man says from afar. And I'm going to win at the ramps. And I'm gonna win at this game. You really just have to hop if you want to move in 3D space at any proper speed. Like, I still, throughout this entire game, have not solved the crawling problem. There we go! Oh, he's, he doesn't even have a running away catchphrase. How dare you! Oh my god. He, like, gently places it back in the hole. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Tarzan. You show that baby who's boss. This seems to be a winning strategy. This seems to be how this game was designed to be played. It really is something else that at no point in this design process did any of the playtesters, and I know chat may say, meme arrow, there are playtesters, but like this really is one of the most fundamental things to get right at a 3D platformer, and it, I don't know what they were thinking. Like not to be like, what were they thinking? Goodness. But like, what were they thinking? Like, what was the reason? What was the line of th Oh, God. <gasps> Ew! Oh, but the, it's, like, webby, so I have to, like... Yeah. Now I Tarzan does an angry march. Because it's too sticky. Oh, okay. Am I supposed to do this? Yes. It really is a whole game that's just one big scripted sequence, isn't it? Oh, you can't use the spear while you have the baby, because I guess the baby wants the spear. Ooh, I like that it took a while before it decided that I was dead. This part? You mean this part is a fetish? Is the presence of the spider what what does it, or because Tarzan also got like tied up by like just a man? Is it not a fetish when it's a man, but it is when it's a giant spider? Is what I am being told, or is it perhaps the fabric that it's a web and not a rope? Well, apparently I can't think at all, because I've got a baby monkey on my back, and that gives me baby monkey brain. Listen, if I can't throw the sphere, the sphere, if I can't throw the spear, I don't see why I can't just throw the baby monkey. If anything, I think that's more dangerous than a pointed weapon. That little baby's gonna rip their mommy's face off, and that's that. Or I could just, like, hop past this and just win.
specifically being tied up in a spider web. If I were being honest, I want a three-way between me, Tony the Tiger, and Toucan Sam. As I wear the hat of Captain Crunch. That's your that's your honest admission, huh, Neon Blue? You know what? If I I guess if I had to like fuck Mary Kill as far as like serial mascots go, that's not a bad selection, I would say. Although I suppose you would have to replace Well no, I guess that means that Captain Crunch is the one you've killed because now you're wearing their hat. But now that begs the question, which one are you married to, and which one do you fuck? The Ipe Man! The Ipe Man! Gah. Gah. Okay, then. Let's fight. <sighs> Video games really are a medium unlike any other. That worked out. Do I not have spears on me? I thought I grabbed some. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it even auto-aims those, too. It's hard to, like, not hit those, honestly. I've had the stream on pretty low volume until now. Why are we talking about serial mascots like this? Why aren't we talking about serial mascots like this more often? Married to Sam, but banging Tony. Hmm. I suppose I can agree with that. I don't know very many serial mascots, honestly. Like the Wheaties? There's like the Mini Wheats? I think those are mascots? Like, those aren't in the question. Um, Count Chocula? No. Underground Rapids? Uh-oh. 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 Is Turk gonna fall off of a branch again, or is this just us? I'm very tempted to, like, go down the middle of this path, but I know it's too late for me. So I guess it's just a objective survive this time. <gasps> Snakes in the water. Goat in the water. Goat in the water. Oh my lord. Just, just gonna let that do its thing. These like very very big whirlpools now. It's in the um the earlier one it seemed easier to avoid them, but I guess or rather to jump them. But this time it's more about like going around them. You can just go on the wall, cause why not? See, I remember the the first river one, but this one's like I'm drawing a complete blank on. Oh, I'm dead. I mean, my corpse seems to be doing a pretty good job of this all its own, so... I don't I don't think I'm needed, quite frankly. I love that seam in the water right down the middle. Yeah, you can still kind of jump them, but you have to build up speed for 12 hours first. You know what, though? I'm sure if you gave someone like Pen and Collect, like, just a ton of time to spend with this game, this seems like a, a game that can be broken in a lot of crazy ways. If someone with a any actual intelligence were to try. Problem being with a situation like that is... Anyone with any actual intelligence would have the intelligence not to play this game. It's like be an obstacle. I don't know, I think a speedrun of this would be fascinating. I want to see what it looks like to not be crawling all the time, you know? But wait a second. You know what else is a game where you crawl? Sonic Unleashed.
this fucking action movie music. Guys, just imagine the quick time events that we're going to have to be putting up with at the very, very end of this. It's going to be crazy. Not as crazy as these epic high scores, though. Boy, you can get really deep underneath this water, huh? With enough force. I mean, that's buoyancy for you, but what if you what what if there's such a thing as too deep? Because it seems like you go deep enough, and the game really starts freaking out. This game really is Sonic Unleashed, huh? That's I've been saying this this whole time. Sonic Untamed, Tarzan Unleashed. Why is his hair, like, transparent? Did you guys see that? Love those footstep sounds. The folly artist really did have a lot of fun with this. Here, hold on, hold on. Let me take my socks off here. Let me give you uh, a sonic experience. That is to say, through the ears, not through the hedgehog that you've definitely not heard in your life. Here, let me show you how that folly artist made that footstep sound. Just slapping their feet. Really good footstep noises. Does a dead monkey and a Disney princess count? Oh, as opposed to a human princess kidnapping of the corpse of a dead hedgehog. The subterranean search. <laughs> You know what would be really funny? If as soon as I started like making feet noises into the microphone, if I suddenly started getting like hundreds and thousands of bits from like a bunch of like silent viewers who have been watching from afar the whole time. <laughs> guys, does that mean that I'm on wiki feet now? Did you guys see the wiki feet shut down for the coronavirus? <laughs> it's so sad. What am I gonna do with all this free time? Close, but not the same. Well, that's because they don't have Tarzan's feet. For a truly immersive experience, they had to live in the jungle for several years barefoot. Trick question. I can't think fast because I don't think. Griffin, that reminds me, a friend told me Bastino is spanking someone's feet, and it's a fetish. He's an odd guy, but I like him. I'm sorry to hear that. Also, they really just hid one of those in a crate, didn't they? What, the vine fades away too? I don't know where else I'm supposed to go, if not the baboon challenge. Maybe I should find that on the world map. I thought I didn't unlock it yet, but... Where would I go if not the Baboon Challenge? I like that interrupted. Yeah, they don't they don't like me. Oh, there's another route this way. I see. Alright, now I have spears. I thought I had to go back. We're good. Phew. That could have been catastrophic. You guys really do have a fetish for everything, huh? I feel like I learned about so many new ones through this stream, through this chat. It really is why I do what I do, that's for sure. <laughs> Just immediately out of frame. What if Tarzan gets shot and then he like dies in a very grisly, realistic way? Why does nobody make any funny, epic Newgrounds parodies of this game, huh? Oh, 
you see this? I cannot walk to the middle of this platform because the railroad makes me drift to the left and then walk off of my own accord because it's deciding that's where I jump. But I don't know that. It just happens. And then you just gotta deal with- oh my god, imagine picking that shit up. This is an infant game! Who is expected to do this? I mean, it's no worse than the gator dragging his unconscious or dead body off screen. Don't come any closer. The, the alligator dragging Tarzan off screen? When did Tarzan get dragged off screen? Oh my god, well I guess I got what I wanted. I got what I wished for. Is the, um... Oh my god, these animations. Are the little regular enemy button mashing sequence is the same as the boss battles like will they reverse and replay the animation if you like let go for a little bit i will never know these vines oh you just have to swing backwards into it that's a lot easier than what I guessed that you had to do, that being just literally landing on the platform between the two vines and then somehow getting back on and surviving it all. If you fail in a certain level, the game over screen has the gator dr How do you know that? I asked earlier tonight if anybody's played this game. How are you actually familiar with this? Sure, I'll get a game I'll go back to that level and get a game over. Who's asking? That sounds like a great way to end the night. And frankly, I think after all this man has put me through, it would be rather cathartic. I don't see why the gator just didn't got swallow, you know? Like, that's his slip up. A long time ago I was? Oh, I'm sorry I missed that. If you have any other Tarzan untamed facts for me, please let me know. Chad is capable of two things. One, fetishes. Two, Tarzan untamed. Only two knowledge bases. Oh, I was playing Grand Blue. There's a video with all the deaths in this game, including all the unique fail cutscenes for the quick time events! That sounds really funny. I have to imagine I'm getting close to the end of this game considering how short it is, but... I'll definitely make some time for those. If and when I complete this, but it's the... That one jump that always gets me, it's, it's kind of the same... One that I was struggling with in the in the swamp level, where it was like that very long chain, and the last the jump between the last two just couldn't seem to make happen. I don't know. I'll just keep fucking around with the analog stick and and see what happens. What certain tiny little degree change will help? Of you know, the only eight directions that the GameCube controller is clearly capable of. I don't get this, it's like these people have never made a 3D game before. Although, looking at these rock textures... Maybe. I could get so much clearance between those two vines, and obviously some are going to be harder than others, and some are going to be easier than others. But something is up with those two. Also, is there literally anything in these tunnels of consequence? Because I don't see it. Right. And this one's fine. And it's always these two. It's this particular jump. It's very vast. I'm gonna keep a close eye on my 
controller here to make sure I'm going as close as I can be. Alright, so that's that's as precisely as I can hold up. So I guess my next best bet is to hold diagonally as best as I can. But I'm not sure about even that because again, even like the paths between the vines are already decided, so I don't I can't imagine why holding a different direction that's not up would have any change. Up should be the best direction to hold for the on-rails stuff. Who else recalls Tarz when Tarzan was a world in Kingdom Hearts? I've had a lot of people in chat making those jokes, and you know what? I welcome them, because it's very funny. That anybody takes one Tarzan game seriously, but not this one. It's really funny to me that after the first game, Disney didn't want to bother paying for the rights to- What do you mean Disney has to pay for the rights to Tarzan? What? Unless, like, maybe Kingdom Hearts are like Phil Collins music, or they have like the original voice actors, but that doesn't sound like something they would they would do, that they would bother doing. Alright, so I'm gonna try holding diagonally between those two vines, and we'll see where that gets us. Every single other one of these is so easy though. I don't I wish I knew what the problem was. Do you have to be jumping earlier? Or later? Or I don't know. I mean when I hold if I let go of the vine. Oh, so you don't have to like pump your legs at all. What if I hold no direction? Okay, so that does have an influence. You do have to be moving in midair for that to count. Boy, that's this is my last life, though. I don't know about any alligator game over screens, but we may see what this one looks like sooner than we think. God, it's so loud. You just come to the top of that ladder and this man fires a gun directly in your ears. Listen to me. I am firing directly into your ear now. You must listen closely. Disney doesn't- Oh, they don't own the rights to the story. That's very- That's- that's very- I take pleasure in that irony. So after Kingdom Hearts 1, they very much swept it under the rug. Huh. Who does- that begs the question. Who does own the rights to Tarzan? Even the games that reuse Kingdom Hearts worlds don't reuse the Tarzan one. Oops. Oh, it's just retry level? That's the game over screen, huh? For that one? Boy, I only start off with three, though, as well. I wish I knew what the, the secret was, then. To the way this movement is. Because I've been cl complaining about it for so long, and I'm, I I'm no closer to cracking the code. Griffin, you should stream Kingdom Hearts 1. Hey, I shouldn't. It has unskippable cutscenes on PS2. Sometimes I think it's a good thing that I don't have a PS2. See, though, standing here and going this way, it really looks like this way is like a dead end. It's just a very steep slope. See, that's, that's an interesting point, though, because... I'm thinking of this diagonal gate, like, that's my theory, because I'm playing the GameCube version, but, like, looking at the graphics, this is very clearly a, a PS2 game ported to GameCube. So, I don't think the PS2 controller had gates. So how is that handled there? Because if, if it behaves the exact same way, then whatever theory I had goes right out the window. Unless it's, like, an adjustment that they made specifically for the GameCube version. Femi is right. Kingdom Hearts 1 would make for the funniest streams. I don't think I'd be able to stand it. Because I hate the Disney parts of Kingdom Hearts, and I hate the non-Disney parts of Kingdom Hearts. So what is there for me? I 
I know a lot of people like to read a lot of gay subtext out of the Kingdom Hearts games. But again, it's Walt Disney and Square Enix, so no nothing could possibly be straighter in the actual text. Because there is no gay subtext. That's why it would be- What? Because I'd be incredibly unhappy? I think- I don't know. I think, like, if I'm not having fun with the game, then that's, like, not funny. Yeah, so jumping earlier is not the answer to that section. Doesn't take very long to get back to it, though, at the very least, but I'm just worried about the, the lives count. Because that's going to be something that I keep running into if I get another game over. Oh, I need the fucking baby! I mean, at least it's the first one where it tries to be a platformer. You like those. Did I say that I liked this? I like the fact that there's a baby gorilla glued to my back and it hinders my abilities. If I'm not having fun with the game, it's unfunny as he plays the same Tarzan GameCube section for 20 minutes. Well, because I'm so far, I'm almost at the end, you know? Like, this is in service of reaching something later that I'm looking forward to. But with Kingdom Hearts, I feel like, you know, stuck or not, that's kind of all there is. I don't think there would be, ever be anything that I would be looking forward to seeing in Kingdom Hearts. I wouldn't even recognize half the characters, unless they, like, got, like, a... Like a God damn it! Unless they got like a, like a Disney sequel, because those are the only ones that I grew up with. Also, I hate, I hate that this has occurred to me just now. I have save states. Why the fuck haven't I been using those? That'll do the trick. Because at this point, the controls feel like a puzzle box that I'm trying to solve, and I just need to get it to click once. But then every time I put the puzzle piece in the wrong spot, you know, someone flips the table and I gotta start from scratch. But this way, I'll just be able to keep trying in a normal way. Okay, so we'll save state here. This is it, Luigi! Okay, so I'm gonna try holding diagonally now, and we're gonna see if that gets me any further. Start gonna hold back and up again. Oh no, now this one has obstacles and I'm gonna die! Fuck! I love that the baby just fucking vibrates and it still makes the weird like slide whistle even when you're not falling down a pit. Didn't Pinocchio get a straight to video sequel? That's a very good, I don't know if it did, but it's that's a good question. I feel like that's one of the very few that didn't, but that's just me. Apparently not. I'll tell you what did get a sequel. Uh, the Hunchback of Notre Dame, The Little Mermaid, two or three times on that one. Uh, there was a Jungle Book 2, there was Lion King 2, Lion King 1 and a half. there might have been a Lion King 3. There were several Beauty and the Beast sequels, there was one... See, sometimes, though, the Disney sequels are also, like, I keep pressing B instead of A to jump for some reason. Some Disney sequels are, like, failed TV show pilots where it's, like, three completely unrelated stories with very little connective tissue because it's, like, three pilot episodes or whatever. So I think that's what Cinderella 2 was. And then Cinderella 3 was, like, a real sequel? 
Yeah, Hercules had a, had a failed TV series that they turned in. Yeah. The Little Mermaid had a prequel. Was there a Tarzan 2? Yes, Tarzan also got a prequel. That was Tarzan 2. I think Pinocchio and ironically Tarzan are the only ones in Kingdom Hearts 1 that didn't get a weird DVD spin-off. I would love... I mean, I wouldn't play it, but I would love if there was a Kingdom Hearts that actually, like, gave a shit about anything that happened in the direct-to-video Disney sequels. Aladdin had two movies and a TV series. That it did. The Aladdin ones I feel like I'm most familiar with. Those ones I... I watched more compared to the others, I think. I still very vividly remember Dan Cast Castellanetto? You know, the, the Homer Simpson one. As the genie. Chat, I, I need some prayers right now. I need some prayers in chat. <gasps> now, I don't know if I would call it a fetish, but it does look very cozy. It's like a sleeping bag. I don't see the problem here. Nothing gets me hornier than a good night's sleep. <gasps> the Young Ape Challenge! It's definitely- No, somebody in chat told me it was. Earlier- Oh. <laughs> just gonna do another save state right here, just to be safe. I'm just agreeing with the assessment that it is. Why is that guy just like a mime? I just realized. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, so we got like an Aussie. We have a couple of French accents. We got one cameraman who just speaks and growls and one who's like, Oh, I'm sorry, boss. Which is, I don't know, what, Carl Pilkington? Have you seen the children? Have you seen the children? Oh no, I suppose I haven't. That's the first mama I've let down. Actually, that that I've let there's one I other I can think of. <laughs> What's because of Iago? Castaneta? Is that his name? Y'all ever fight a fucking snake? What do you mean, don't say Joe? I'll say Joe. I'll joke a snake. Which I now realize is a, a euphemism. Tarzan dies from gunshot wound. I'm like scared of standing in water because typically Tarzan does not get along with any bodies of water, but I guess sometimes it's okay. Some garbage is okay. Not this garbage. The children. <gasps> Look at him! <gasps> Look at the fucking scampering! He's more like a- he's more spider than man. I thought you were hurt. There's no time for dying. You have to go back. What? Where's Jane? The hunters took her. And I led them to the elephant graveyard. 
Where? You must have passed the entrance. It's a stone bridge. It collapsed when I tried to cross. The only other entrance is behind this rock, and it won't budge. Go back, find the other entrance. I'll keep trying here. Good luck. This better not mean what I think it means. Yo, is that a Horton? Yeah, his name is Tantor. Oh, I don't think I do have the baboon challenge. What do you mean, find the other entrance? How do I know which level it's in? Does it say? Into the caverns, under... I'm, I would assume this one. Like, if I had the, the bungee one, then I guess... Crocodile Clash, so that's, that orange means boss. Maybe I would get the baboon if I completed all the baby, hold on. Can I check what my save state is? No, I remember where it is and it's not in the right spot. So I think I'm gonna have to replay this level again, unfortunately. I think if I did find all the babies in this stage, then it would give me you just got what the search for its porter joke was? God damn it. I think I'm gonna have to play this one more time until I find the baby. And then I'll get the baboons, and then the baboons will let me... Like, that's probably the other entrance right there. But I can't do that until I do the whatever the fucking baboon challenge is. The real baboon challenge is playing this game. I've been- I've been baboozled! Oh, I need- I need spears. Not today, baby. It is a weird structure, isn't it? Like, okay, I get it, it's padding. But first it's like a collectible gate, now it's a, like a progress gate. Like alternate exits or whatever. It is strange. Hey, this seems a little familiar. You, you guys remember this part? Also, is it just me or do the, the crystals make boing sounds when, when you touch them? No. That was good. That was about to fool me again. Definitely could use this. I'm still- I still do not trust my ability to consistently complete this, so I'm gonna do another save state when I get here. Which appeared to be an excellent idea. They do make boyoing sounds? Yeah, why is that? If anything, like, you know, if- if- the sound design accounts for Tarzan's bones shattering every time he touches a rock in relation to the, like, the vulture levels. Then, you know, why hold back now? And these just, these should make boy oink sounds, but they don't. I still have spears, I'm good. I'll just hop past them. All right, keep an eye out for Monkey Baby, because if we miss this... Oh, there it is. I, I guess I just didn't break it one time. Tarzan, for the love of God, walk in a straight line at a consistent speed. I'm pressing left. I'm... Uh, oh, my Lord. You have to hold, like... <sighs> the Ape Man is real. The Ape Man is real. 
Guys, what if apes were real? Fucked up or what? Okay, I guess I'm doing another safe state here in case I lose too many lives. Nothing is funnier to me in this game than how lifeless these baby models look. They just have very... something about their eyes looks very sad. <gasps> that almost got me again. The hubris of hopping. Yeah, this has got to be the one that I missed because the, the other mom has already have their babies with them when you replay a level. Have you seen the children? Griffin, you know they're gorillas, right? Well, he said the ape man is real. He said it, not me. Listen, maybe you and I think they're gorillas, but in the in the world of Tarzan, apes. I love that he like stuffs it back down. Okay. The good news is I have seen the children. Now I just gotta get out of here, but that doesn't mean an alternate exit quite yet. Quite frankly, I don't know if that even equates to the baboon challenge. I assume that it does, but I can't say for sure. Oh, okay, I'm fine, I guess. Don't mind me. You'd think he'd know how to swim. Doesn't he swim in the movie? I don't know. You know what? It's not so bad after all. If I get to see that animation again. Gorillas are apes. Exactly, so why am I being corrected? <gasps> the Baboon Challenge. It's real. Now I get to look at these guys silently too. Hooray. Oh my god. I thought the baboons were Tarzan's enemies. Baboon challenge. Avoid all obstacles to build up enough speed to die for the film reel. People are apes too. Ooh. I remember this one! With the cave! See, sometimes you have to let go. You have to get that entirely perfectly, otherwise you do not win the Baboon Challenge. Oh. So that, that already disqualifies me then, though, doesn't it? I feel like the when the camera angle changes to watch Tarzan fall into the water, it feels like I'm watching like casting a line in a Sonic Adventure game and just looking at the fish. I don't know why I say a Sonic Adventure, I mean Sonic Adventure, just the Uh oh. But I'm getting better at it. I'm getting better at it. I think next the next one's the big one. You said monkeys? Oh no. They're angry with me! What does this mean? Everything's silent. I don't understand. I don't. S Baboon challenge failed. Monkeys are not apes. <laughs> Monkey. Oh, I also, I didn't mean to do that. I think I just increased. I clicked both sticks together just idly. So that increased and then decreased the game by 10%. God, imagine trying to do this any faster. <laughs> See, I can get, like, one hit away, but I need to get just, like, a, a little bit better. 
I feel like it runs slower when I do this, actually. <laughs> this is, like, the same. See, I'll, I'll like, tr train myself. And then when I get used to the faster speed... I'm not doing this. If anything, I ought to slow it down. Fuck! Hey, maybe just take the bungee off. Just hang out down there. It seems pretty cozy. God, Tarzan. He's humiliated. He can't fucking believe what he's done. He's... He's ashamed, and he ought to be, quite frankly. These infant... I'm sorry, not infant monkeys. Infant apes. Look very dopey, and I can't get enough of it. Oh! oh. Next hot take, Griffin is gonna say dolphins are fish. I would not say that. I'm liking this cheerleader. Congratulations, you've completed the baboon challenge. The baboons will now give you a helping hand when you call to them. Who's ready to play the same level a third time? I just wanna see Tarzan get mauled by an alligator. Is that too much to ask? And also, how do I know which one is the alternate exit? I think it's this one. I'm gonna try this one with the baboons. Because they appear in all the cave levels. I just don't know which one, which is the real alternate ending. But I would assume this one. That's what I want to say. But we'll see if any of the paths regroup or not, or if I get a completely different level out of following the baboons. In the past, it's only led to, like, you know, like, film reels and stuff, and then it eventually regroups. But this seems to go in a very different direction right off the bat, so... That's my intuition. These bastards are no match for a cartwheeler like me. Except I guess they are. Every single one of these boxes just has bear traps in them now. Or I guess gorilla traps. Like, there's never any mystery. It's like, okay, not touching that shit. Oh, I have to get this guy out of the way first, because otherwise he's going to interrupt me while I'm doing my calls. Oh, there we go. I could have sworn that I didn't press X, but I'll take it. All right, let's see where that takes us. Maybe it'll be like an instant... Wow, okay. That's the end right away. Phew. Griffin, do you think bats are birds? Do you think spiders are insects? Can you... That, this is really mean now. Look at the bloom in this cutscene. Listen to the fucking reality TV show horror stings. Look. You're alive! <laughs> Let her go. No, I believe I'll be bringing two specimens back to London. Oh one no. For study, and one for he killed the butterfly! You might not have enough of this one left. Just as long as he returns with us, it doesn't matter whether we're chained or in a box. What? <laughs> what the fuck is this game? Okay, so I'm assuming all of these quick time event boss fights have game over screens. Boss wrestle. This one's gonna have a lot of mashing. Buckle up. Hit the B button. At, yeah, okay. God, he looks so awful! He looks awful! Look at his fucking neck stretch! What a jaw. What a jawline. Uh, XXABY. I wasn't looking. Oh, 
I wanna let go. I wanna see this go wrong. Oh, I like- okay, so you can like have a few tries if you don't fill the bar. I love that it just reverses. <laughs> Even like the camera too, it really is like a YouTube poop. That's the best way I can describe it. Somebody said that there's a compilation video on YouTube of like all the failure things. I might look up a video of that instead of like manually doing it because it seems to be a lot more work to do it manually than just to look up a video of it. Oh my god, look at the- yo, he's kind of having- you can like put some music to that. He's kind of got some funky moves. Look at that. Look at that go. Look at this guy. Oh, this side profile really- look at this. Look at that- look at how much the boobs are a, pro, a part of the profile. The silhouette. Kinda fucked up. Damn, it's came in with that quick, thank you very much! That's a really good face, by the way. <laughs> the end. That's how it ends. He just fucking brings up his saving screen. Is he getting impaled on the bones? Oh no, worse. <laughs> Even the pre-rendered cutscene is slowing down from all this movement. Holy moly. Oh, hold still. I thought you had gotten better. Oh, I like that her hands touch. are just like mittens. You don't have a trunk. You don't know how painful. There. Got it. You could have at least like textured it to make it look like she has I fingers. But it's just like a skin flap. Oh, wow! This is great! Yes, Turk! The motion picture! Living shadows! Tarzan's been collecting film reels. I have? I mean I have! That's you. And that's only one reel. Who knows how much film he lost, my boy? There could be a whole story out there. Oh god, they're gonna make me collect all of them. These are just the cutscenes from before with the sepia tone. Also gross. Well, what kind of films have they been recording? Unbeknownst to us. So does that also show the game over screens, too? Hold on. What's- is this just time trials? That is exactly what this is. Yeah, it grays out all of the, um, the boss ones. That's so weird. I just remember there being, like, an option where you can, like, actually look at the reels and you get, like, artwork or something like- or, like, cryptic images from looking at the film reels. But maybe that's only what happens when you get all of them. Anyways, uh, that was Tarzan Untamed. Thank you for watching. If- look at this, hold on. If you go all the way to the right, you can look where the mountain- like, cuts off because the texture is unfinished. If I scroll, then the right edge of the screen is perfectly clear-cut, smooth line, but then you get to the very end, and then the texture ends, but then the sky texture goes a little bit further on. Oh, it's lovely. Anyways, that was Tarzan Untamed. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, you can follow me here on Twitch or on YouTube at The Full Galaxy, where all the VODs are and more. If you particularly enjoyed the stream, you can also subscribe to me here on Twitch. Uh, you can also follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, Pillowfort, and Discord. There is a Discord server with all sorts of channels for you guys to hang out on, both on and off stream. Uh, I'm also taking commissions for art and animation. And if any of those interest you, you can get the links to those in the Twitch cards below if you're watching this live or in the YouTube description if you're watching the VOD. Uh, so before we go, we're going to take a look at the videos here that it's found of, like, all the failure states. And, uh... And then we'll see if there's any art. Let's see, let me get this in a pip window, and we'll get right into this. This is from Wishing to Call. I f whenever I hear like a story, not to drag Wishing to Call, but whenever I hear like a weird story about, um... So this is what the PS2 version looks like, I guess. Whenever I hear a weird story about a Sonic fan, it always seems to be relating to to call. Also, that's a hell of an animation to be playing back and forth. You know the one. That one. <laughs> You're damaging the specimen, you lump-headed goat! Oh, he just gets squeezed to death. 
And then it zooms in menacingly on his baby face. I feel like I should recognize these, because I was especially bad at the crocodile game, and I can't imagine how many times I saw... I'm, I'm assuming he's gonna get Vord, right? If he does, then I'll, I'll remember, I'll know. And I'm sure if I minimize this YouTube window and take a look at chat again, they're just fucking chanting for Vor. And he just kind of gets dragged underwater. Kind of a shame if you ask me. Oh, and yet there's more. Oh, this is like the second phase, isn't it? Right, because, yeah, okay, so they're gonna do the first part correctly now. Then put in the inputs. And then fail on the next one? It is really interesting, like, how I was constantly talking about how crusty the, the GameCube version looks, and the PS2 version is just, like, embarrassing. Like, look at the colors, too, like, and the lighting. Like, this is somehow even muddier, and I was already, like, pointing out the, the color quality, especially, that a lot of it was brown. Really, really fits well with the, um, that neon pink username, though, that really pops. I didn't get my Vor before, I better get it now! Oh, he's just fucking drilling! Did he eat him? I guess. I guess that's what that looks like. That's what I look like when I go in on my mashed potatoes. I like, rotate. I think these were kind of like my favorite sequences of these games. If only these games, this game, if only because it was so fun, funny to fuck with. Like, it kind of does all the, the parodying for you. Also, I like that he just gets fucking yeeted and he laughs at him. <laughs> I really like the camera angle where he's like looking down at the viewer and he's like, pathetic. That one's the best one, I think. But who knows? There was some interesting stuff going on with the Whitman. So we'll see where that gets us. If he does anything interesting as, as the death state. I mean, I don't know. I guess Tarzan just gets fucking strangled. Who knows? Once more, I think it would be interesting to to mention that this game is made by Ubisoft. He just gets bogged into the tree. And then he does a rant Sona pose. That one. <laughs> that's, the, that's the angle that I'm thinking of. There's a lot of very funny, janky faces in this game. It'll be tricky to, to figure out what I even want to make the thumbnail. <laughs> Yeah, you know, wishing to call is kind of great at this, though. You know what? I wish they knew how to co fucking control with the analog stick, because I sure didn't this entire time. I'm surprised that they actually have, like, multiple lines of dialogue for this as well. Because, boy, there are plenty of points in this. Well, they have no shame about repeating that, but I guess here, not not quite so much. I love that fucking fucky dance move! See, the interesting part is that it looks like he's, he's like trying to reach towards Jane, but he's just looking for a knife and he couldn't care less. She's just kind of motionlessly watching in the background, really. You just roll away from the edge of the cliff or something, you know. Oh my god! <laughs> no, I'm glad I saw these. I'm glad I saw these. These are good. Do we get game over screens too? No, it seems like that's the end of the video. Huh. Well. I know one way that we can find out for sure.
Oh no, the audio is... It just get, it doesn't get faster, it just gets louder! Maybe the problem is that we haven't increased the speed enough! Oh my god! It sounds like this game is being exercised! More! See, but I have to, I have to do this five times. Okay, new strategy. Uh, I think I'm gonna exit level, find a regular stage, jump into a pit a bunch of times, and then go back to the alligator, and then, I'm sorry, the crocodile. And then that'll probably get us to, to that supposed game over screen faster. You know what, I'm, let's go to In Search of Porter. A real classic, a real Tarzan classic. All right, so let's find where the nearest bottomless pit is and go careening into it. See, though, this game is so on rails, though, it's I feel like it would almost be difficult <laughs> to, like, go out of your way to die, you know? I gotta say, it almost feels like when you die, it's because the game wants you to, not because, like, you did something. Would fast forwarding this make us die any fat? Like, I could get to that pool of water faster, maybe. Doesn't seem like it, though. It sure does crust up the audio. <laughs> the little, like, ooh sound has just turned into a fucking flat line. <laughs> I kind of like it the way it is now. It sounds like someone's, like, microwaving something. <laughs> this is really good. Okay, I have zero, so now I quit level. I go back to Crocodile. I crank to 700%, and we, we, we see where that takes us. Crocodile Clash. That ought to do the trick. Oh boy, it really gets loud, doesn't it? I feel like the way this sounds, like, reminds me of something specific, but I can't put my finger on what. Maybe if I in further increase the speed, we'll find that out! I don't see the problem. We're just going for a swim. Okay, so I was told there was a game over screen. That is not a game over screen. Plus 30, plus 30, plus 30, plus 30. So with that, I suppose I will see you guys later. I don't know. No game over screen. Anticlimax. Have a good night. Nintendo DS pitched up audio when you use the recording app? Maybe. That comes pretty close. Um, but no, not quite. It's like a sound from like a movie or a show or something. Maybe a game. I don't know. Where like something is dying and it makes that sound. Maybe like one of the, one of the Reggie Pokemon? I don't know. Anyways, quit level. Quit game. Frankly, quit stream.